Now let me show you how we can properly set up a reverb inside the Pro Tools mixer. As you can see, I have in this session two tracks, a drums track and a piano track. What I would like to do is to add a reverb to my piano track and then maybe to my drums track too. Let's see how it sounds like first without it. First, I'll need to send a copy of my piano track to an auxiliary input which I will set up my reverb on. So I go under Send, New Track, and then I'm going to rename this auxiliary input track Reverb. Now Pro Tools has created an auxiliary input track and named it Reverb. Plus the routing has been done too, so the input of my auxiliary track is set to the reverb bus and the send here is reverb as well. So now if I click and hold here, you can see that it is going through the first bus up here that is the reverb bus. Pro Tools renames the buses automatically according to the auxiliary input name that you dial in when you create that new auxiliary track. Here as well you can see the auxiliary input is set to the same bus, the reverb bus. Now I'm going to load on my auxiliary input the reverb plugin that I would like to use and I'm going to choose the Dever plugin. I'm going to access the librarian menu up here and choose the preset large hole. I have to make sure as well that my dry to wet percentage is set to 100% wet. So now I'm going to control the amount of reverb that I would like to have on my piano track with this send fader. Now of course if you accidentally lose this fader it's no problem you just have to click on the send and you have it again. So let's go ahead and try to see what amount of reverb we would like to have on the piano track while listening to it in the mix. So let's say this is how I would like it to be. Now if I were to solo the piano track and listen. As you can see, we have a problem here. We cannot hear the reverb with the piano. This is because the auxiliary input track has to be soloed as well so that I can hear the reverb of the piano. So instead of having to solo every time I solo the piano, it's reverb as well. I would like to have the solo button always on there. So this is what we call solo safe. The way to do it would be to control click on the S button or command click on the S button depending on whether you're using a Windows system or a Mac system. So now if I click solo on my piano track, as you can see the reverb is there because my solo is safe. So let's say I would like to use the exact same reverb now on the drums track. So I will go under send and I will choose track and then the reverb auxiliary input rather than creating a new track just like I did earlier for the piano because actually it is already there now. So I hit the reverb and the routing has been done for me so it's sending it through the reverb bus and here's my fader to control how much reverb I would like to have on my drums track. So now I can solo my drums if I want and I can have it alone with its reverb or I can go ahead and solo my piano track and have it with its reverb as well. That's the whole mix with the reverb. And I have here the master reverb, which is the auxiliary input fader. So this is going to control the overall reverb in my whole mix. 